what's going on everybody it's popular stranger we're back with another college football 25 ultimate team video we got early reveals for the ultimate alumni content which is dropping later this afternoon we got four really good 86 and 87 overall cards but before we get to those and quick disclaimer i'm doing this from a hotel room in philadelphia so no face cam if you're wondering where i'm at and all that um so the next couple videos are going to be like this deal with it it'll be okay we want to talk about two things before we go over those reveals number one solo battles is finally back now really the only reason you want to be playing this if you go to your orientation field pass there's an objective to complete this thing fully uh, you have to play one solo battle game so I totally get it if you want to play solo battles for that very specific reason but if you go into solo battles and I know some people are still having a hard time like playing a game I don't know what's going on with that the games actually aren't loading for me either I know they are for some others but my main point of bringing this up is if and whenever they get it working don't play this game mode outside of the one game that you need for that orientation field pass objective. If you go through and see, basically the idea of solo battles is you play against the computer, you get points for playing against them, the points are going to uh, dictate the ranking that you fall in, but as I scroll through all of these, you can see the coin rewards is basically a thousand coins no matter what level you hit. So, uh, in summary, this game mode is not worth playing outside of that one singular objective because uh, it just doesn't give you good rewards at all. Now, speaking of rewards, I kind of skipped over this and didn't really realize it yesterday in a video you can get a free 89 overall from the season one field pass upon completion now, I know everybody's not there but we're getting pretty close I'm at level 40 and I've missed a few times uh, a few days of daily objectives but of course everything you need to do is going to be found to the right there are new objectives usually added every Monday I would think with the brand new ultimate alumni drop later this afternoon we might see some new objectives within this tab but generally speaking everything that you're going to get added in here is going to come on a Monday. Uh, if you scroll through all the rewards, you probably know most of them by now. There is a 84 overall fantasy pack that you get four different times levels 10 30 40 and i believe 48 is the final one and there's four different players to choose from so eventually you're going to get all four of those players uh, at the very end of the field pass which is level 51 you get a season one token and if you actually read the description over the right it says use this token on a season one player once season one is concluded to elevate that players overall so from what i understand this token will take one of those four players up from an 84 overall to an 89 overall so you got guys like will howard out there the kobe bryant card i don't know what all of their attributes are going to look like at that 89 overall so it's really hard to say like which one you should pick right now once this token is available for the masses we'll definitely do an updated video going over the best player to use the token on and because it's probably going to go into that player's upgrade path it's safe to assume that if you put it in the Will Howard upgrade path, you can always take it out and put it into another player. But in summary, you're going to get a free 89 overall for completing the season one field pass, upgrading one of those players from an 84 to an 89. And also, of course, right before that, the level right before that at level 50, you're going to get that free 87 overall Harold Perkins Jr. So some good stuff to look forward to as we kind of get close to finishing up the season one field pass. And if you're not close to me, like your level 30s, 20s, you still got basically four weeks weeks a little under four weeks to go ahead and get a lot of this stuff done so there's there's a lot of time here but if you've been up to date on your objectives and your dailies every day you're probably right around me maybe a little bit under me high 30s low 40s there was that glitch and the main reason that solo battles was down for so long is that people could play solo battles and earn season one xp that's not the way it was supposed to be that's why it's been down for so long so let's go through the ultimate alumni reveals there's a bunch of 80s 81s 82s and 83s we're we're not really going to cover those also we're going to get new solo challenges that feature the two set cards one on offense one on defense and when those new solos come out you should be able to earn more milestone stars which equals more rewards including another madden loyalty pack which is going to give you some free content towards madden 25 ultimate team so the first one or both of them that were revealed on twitter last night we have an 86 overall uh, penn state legend micah parsons i can't think of any other team he may have played for and as a penn state legend this card looks 
looks pretty good. 86 speed as a pass rusher, and they gave him the power rusher archetype, so they gave him really high strength as well. Typically, if I remember correctly, with Madden Ultimate Team Micah Parsons cards, it would be a lot of speed and not so much strength. This one's really good because he got he gets the high speed, he gets the strength, which is really important to me for pass rushing, and then he still gets 85 block shed, 86 power move, and 80 finesse move. So all in all, this looks like a really, really, really good card. Uh, and same thing with Saquon Barkley. He's not going to be better than Judkins. Judkins is going to end up being the best running back in the game, probably for like another month at minimum. But Saquon's card looks solid. You already know I'm going to be picking this one up. 86 speed, 87 change of direction, 86 trucking, 85 break tackle, uh, 73 catch isn't terrible. I haven't really seen a lot of running backs dropping many passes. In fact, they probably catch too many even upon contact. Uh, but pretty good attributes all around the board. So those are going to be your two set cards. We'll go over all of the set requirements and everything once this is all in game. But you can, for the most part, kind of pre-build the set to get these cards. The only problem is that set is going to be an 85 plus set, which means you're not guaranteed either of the two. Uh, and then we have two 87 overall LTDs. And the very first one is going to be yet another Eagles legend. We got AJ Brown out of Old Miss, 87 speed wide receiver, 87 catching. Uh, his route running is good money, 87 short, 86 mid, 85 deep. If there is an 85 plus threshold in this game, he's going to hit all three. So he gives you that. He's six even, I believe, maybe six. Uh, 87 speed, 87 catch, and good route running. This is going to be one of the better wide receivers in the game. And depending on price, but more than likely, I won't care about that. This card will be on the squad as well. And then the other LTD, I know we need cornerbacks. Well, we got one here, Sauce Gardner. Over six foot, 87 speed, 87 zone, 86 man, 84 press. Is he going to be the best cornerback in the game? I don't think he's better than Will Johnson, but he's going to be up there because he's got the balance of man and zone coverage with the speed. And, you know, it's a guy that's going to be able to go out there and cover some of those best and fastest wide receivers that we currently have in the game. So, again, there's a bunch of 80, 81, 82, 83 overall cards, but the 286 champions look really solid, and both of the 87 overall LTDs look really good as well. One other thing, we randomly got a store update this morning, which includes a whole new tab in the store, uh, which are a bunch of rush packs. I haven't really looked through all of these, but, you know, th there's a bunch that contain platinum cards, which quick sell for coins. If you're going to be opening up any of these, it's best that you wait until after 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time when the new content drops because we're going to have those 287 overall LTDs out there. So we'll take a look at these packs and report back to see which ones might be worth it. Uh, but a whole new store in or a whole new tab within the store that features these rush, pa rush packs here and also an in case you missed it booster pack. So if you guys are going to open up any of these, like I said, wait until after 1.30 or after that content comes out. So that's all I got for now. We'll talk about more when the content's in game. But for now, thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.